I explained akara, ukara, makara, upasana, which is associated with the sound. Akara, ukara, makara. Now the silence part. Om. After that there is a silence. Okay. The silence represents no manifestation. When there is silence, there is no words, there is no thoughts. Okay. But what is there? Sakshi is there. The Sakshi is Brahman. Okay. Between two, two thoughts, there is Sakshi. Between two sensations, Sakshi. Between sound, there is silence. In the silence, Sakshi's presence is more. Sakshi is there. Right? So, like that, you can do Parabrahma Upasana. Brahma Upasana. First Upasana of Sakshi and then Brahma Upasana. Okay? Parabrahma Upasana. I will tell you what is Parabrahma. Okay? So, Brahma Upasana. So, between two sounds, become aware of the silence. <coughs> then one who is aware of silence is Sakshi. Okay. Like that, you can do upasana or meditation on the manifest aspect and or physical aspect or non-physical aspect. Okay. The physical world which consists of Virat, Hiranyagarbha and Vishwara. We have to meditate on the consciousness, okay, not on the physical world. Consciousness associated with each. Right? So then you go beyond the physical into upasana of the Brahman, which is silence between the two thoughts. Silence between the uh, two sensations. Silence between the sound. Silence, there is nothing, no objective world is there, physical. Mm -hmm. The one who is observing the silence is Sakshi. So you become aware of the one who is aware. Earlier, as a jiva, you are so focused on objects. You are not aware that you are aware. Your attention has to shift to the awareness. I am aware that there is sound. The focus is on the awareness, not on the sound. I am aware there is silence. The focus on the awareness. Like that, you start shifting your awareness to awareness, being aware. The attention now shifts from the objects to the awareness. And that awareness is Sakshi. And Sakshi is Brahman. Are we clear? So like that, the meditation on the silence aspect. So like this, because of this, Omkara is a total meditation which involves sound which is physical world, a consciousness associated with the physical world and silence which is consciousness associated with the non physical the real consciousness, the reality which is Brahman, Sakshi, Brahman is what we are, uh, is the total upasana. So this upasana Yamadar Maraya teaches Nashiketa. So this method of teach, method of doing it is taught from the master to disciple. And what is the upasana is told and recorded in the uh, Upanishad. You understand? There is a practice and see Yedna, you can, what is the Yedna, what are, what are things required, you can, yedna, you can write, describe in the words. But how to do it, you have to teach. So like that, Upasana of Brahma, uh, Saguna, okay. So the Upasana of the consciousness associated with the physical world is called Saguna Upasana. Consciousness, absolute consciousness, which is not associated with the physical world, is called Nirguna Upasana. So, Upasana are two types, Saguna Upasana and Nirguna Upasana. The benefit of Saguna Upasana is Chitta Shuddhi or purification of mind. Benefit of Nirguna Upasana is Mukti, liberation. Okay. The Phala Shuddhi. What is the Phala? Benefit of Saguna Upasana is Chitta Shuddhi, purification of the mind. The benefit of Nirguna Upasana is Mukti, liberation. Are you clear? Now when we say Upasana, here the mind is involved, actively involved. Okay. So Dnana involves 
a further step where applying vivek and vairagya you go beyond the mind that's called gnana this is upasana upasana involves still a conceptualization by the mind are you clear any questions no upasana the mind is dropped nirguna upasana also the mind is there then you enter into a state of samadhi okay the samadhi is not realization see nirguna upasana you enter into a state of of nirvikalpa samadhi okay still it is not final realization the final realization is called sahaja samadhi or sahaja samadhi can be obtained through gnana atma vichara okay so again this upasanas different upasanas result in samadhi okay see please understand upasana has a benefit of samadhi samadhi means absorption of the mind concentration absorption of the mind even nirvik nira nirguna brahma upasana also in results in nirvikalpa samadhi is samadhi realization no does samadhi helps in realization yes samadhi helps in realization by purifying your mind chitta shuddhi what is realization the realization can be uh, can be done only through gnana shravana manana nididhyasa atma vichara okay so that process is gnana gnana with gnana you can drop the mind the mind you go beyond the mind okay you go beyond the mind in gnana whereas in upasana you are in the domain of the mind but you are making the mind concentrated focused and absorption it is called manolaya whereas gnana is called manonasha manolaya is mind, mind, <coughs> mental absorption destruction of mind is called manonasha ignorance destruction of ignorance in gnana are we clear so various degrees of samadhi happen in upasana okay i told you hiranyagar upasana virat purusha upasana and ishwara upasana right are you clear no these are all related to vedantika upasana 